My grandmother was very concerned for the environment and I think there would be a need for eco-friendly practices to be incorporated on an industry-wide basis. Emphasis should be given to it. With and for City Life Sessions, today I am sitting, I am feeling honoured to sit with Maharaj Devraj Singh Ji to have a word. Okay. To start off with, I would like to congratulate you for the celebrations which you have planned to commemorate the centenary year celebration of your grandmother, Marani Gayatri Devi Ji, and which is globally celebrating the Event Managers Day on the 31st of May this year. Would like to dedicate this event to Rajmata Sab. I would like to ask you certain things so you can share your views, what you think and what her vision was on that. All right. Maharaj Sahib, seeing the present scenario, where do you see the event industry five years from now? The events industry has been a great source of creating employment and income generation for the youth and that is very much needed in India with the population that we have here the dividend will be very beneficial for the events industry however there may be a looming uh, global economic crisis which might give a small dent in the next year or two but in the long term it's definitely an upwards trend. That how do you see weddings uh, an important part in the event industry? Weddings is certainly uh, one of the most famous parts of the events industry. It has brought, I'm glad to say, Rajasthani culture to be known around the world and in India. People always get excited when uh, abroad when they say, oh, I'm invited to an Indian wedding. You know, it always brings uh, joy and happiness. And also many cultural monuments get a new lease of life. They get uh, maintenance. So this is certainly a positive aspect which the events industry has brought to uh, the cultural sites of Rajasthan. India and Rajasthan in particular has become a famous destination, not only for NRIs, but uh, even people from Europe and America. Being Maharani Gayatri Devi's grandson, please share her vision and your suggestions like to how event industry can create a balance in the environment which is the much talk about issue you know the global warming and the 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 ecological imbalance that we and the next generation is going to face a lot yes while the uh, events industry creates much employment and income but at the same time you have to admit that they consume large amounts of resources so in this regards my grandmother was very concerned for the environment and I think there would be a need for eco-friendly practices to be incorporated on an industry-wide basis. Emphasis should be given to it. Reuse and reduce of resources that are used. Things such as Patel or those are Patels and donors. Donors. And also those um, 
terracotta cups. The less glasses. Yes, yeah. those should be used and promoted. Yeah. Because uh, rather than uh, paper and plastic cups, I think it will be a good idea if we use these uh, things which are unique to India's culture and is a widely available resource. So I think my grandmother would have agreed in this regard. How do you think event industry has uh, brought up Rajasthan to this level? How does event industry has contributed, you know, in the enrichment of the Rajasthani culture around the world? Indeed, uh, the events industry has, as I mentioned, uh, been a big source of uh, employment, which is, of course, much needed. In terms of culture, Rajasthan has become one of India's uh, premier destination for weddings, both uh, super high-end and uh, mid-range. <laughs> and in fact, uh, it has helped very much to bring out a positive picture of Rajasthani culture. Although, um, so far it's been concentrated in the main cities of Rajasthan. There's so much more to be seen and explored. Uh, many, many heritage sites are brought back to life and are maintained. And otherwise, uh, some of these sites would lie unused and abandoned. I think the events industry might be able to help create awareness for the need of, um, of green practices, uh, renewable use of resources. In the old days, Jaipur was always very green and very clean. And if somehow the forum and the industry would be able to once again bring about emphasis of these issues, you know, there'd be nothing like it. It would be a win-win situation for the industry and for the city. So on the occasion of Events Managers Day, 31st May, I'd like to send out my warm wishes and congratulations to everyone in the industry who has participated in this forum. Keep up the good work of bringing uh, joy and mem good memories to people's uh, life and continuation in creating employment. And don't forget the eco practices, which should be incorporated on a wide industry basis. Make the world a better place. Thank you and enjoy. Manasa, we would like to, you know, we are very curious to actually know what you are planning for the centenary year celebration of your grandmother. We are really curious, the public wants to know. If it's not a secret, it's not a surprise element then. Rajmara Saab was born in London in 1919, as after the end of World War I. So can you believe it? Nearly a hundred years now, in a, in a matter of a week, it would be a century since her birth. So much change has been incorporated in Jaipur since she became Maharani. A lot of social changes, a lot of economic changes, which are positive, but uh, environmentally has been uh, negative, I must say. Anyhow, with regards to Raj Saab's centenary function, we'll be holding an exhibition at the Kalanari Gallery which is open to all public, free of charge. And I encourage the young people of Jaipur to go and view it. Then we'll be having a function at the Biela Auditorium on the 26th with uh, guest speakers from Rajasthan, important uh, rulers, which I don't want to mention now. Uh, and apart from that, there will be other functions.
such as marathons, art, and other public events, which will continue throughout the year. But you will have to wait and see what they are. On the date of her centenary, there will also be a Prathana Sapha at the Govindevji Temple, which is Jaipur's, as you know, main mandir since the inception of the city. And uh, this will be open to the public. Everyone is welcome to join in prayers to her memory. So it was a wonderful session with Maharaj Thank you so much.